This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment or educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, the bad actors, the GME Rico conspirators who are naked shooting GME have to be having nightmares at this point. You guys know by now that GME paid off all their debt. They're sitting on billions in cash. Ryan Cohen is putting out feelers for for new employees. I mean, I believe he has something big planned. You could tell by the way the stock ran yesterday that the bad actors are in trouble. They even started, and I believe, doubling down and creating counterfeit sell orders in order to keep the price down. Had it not been for their what I believe to be criminal activity, GME would have ran a whole lot more yesterday. And I believe once Ryan Cohen announces some positive news, it is going to send a stock to the moon. The only people, in my opinion, and I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell GME, the only people shorting GME right now, naked shorting GME, are the people that are stuck in the play, the entities that are stuck in the play that can't get out. I don't believe you're going to find any new naked shorters getting into the GME play. It is just too dangerous. There's no debt. I mean, none whatsoever now. There's all this cash on hand. And there's Ryan Cohen. The naked shorters have to know that the party is almost over for them. They will probably end up running to bankruptcy court. The OCC is going to get burnt. DTC is going to get burnt because they're going to be on the hook if these guys file for bankruptcy. But let's see how it plays out. Let's see how it plays out. In my opinion, and once again, I'm going to tell you to buy, hold, or sell GME. I believe GME is going to see a significant price increase before the end of 2024. That's just my opinion. Anyway, here are the numbers. The volume, 10,306,834. Now, you know these numbers mean absolutely nothing because we really can't see what's going on in the dog pools. We can't see what's going on in the other exchanges that they use to manipulate the price of the stock. But this is still more than double the volume from the day before. So you know that they're in real trouble. The bad actors, the RICO conspirators, Naked shooting GME, they know that they're in trouble. They're still claiming 26.78% of the volume is DRS. They just put that number out there to put it out there. I think they don't even count anymore. That's what I believe. 40.5% of that volume was shorted shares. So somehow they found 4,200,000 GME shares to short into the, into the market and manipulate the price. If it wasn't for all these shorted shares, imagine what price GME would have been trading at yesterday. And of course, the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI is not going to ask where those shares came from. They don't care where they originated. They don't care about the chain of custody. They don't care if they, if some magician said, poof, and 4,200,000 shares just showed up, SEC doesn't care. The DOJ doesn't care. The FBI doesn't care. And you all know why. Because who's getting robbed? Retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. And of course, the days to cover is going down. They claim they can cover all their GME short positions in 6.73 business days. Tell me how crazy that is. You add 4,200,000 more short positions, but you can close them out. In a shorter period of time. When I tell you, you got to leave your common sense, your analytical skills at the door to, to have a clear head in this plate. That's what you have to do. Because the data they give us makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to me. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's, it's illogical. It's illogical data. And they're claiming that the 
you know, the short interest is like 9.2% or some nonsense like that. Listen, when it comes to a lot of stocks in the market, the short interest for Gazy. The shortage shares for Gazy. Even the volume is for Gazy. You know why? Because the bad actors can do what they want. Because if they get caught, there are no real consequences to their bad behavior. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Why do you think GME volume doubled from the day before? Were the bad actors doubling down? Trying to stop GME from running? Anyway... Have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.